If you've ever jumped in your shell scrape, only to find it inhabited by something poisonous, please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Sorry, had to do that, you know, Big Daddy Flannel, aka Garan Thumb throwback. Hey YouTube, it's Michael from Asymmetrical Preparedness. So today's video is on following examples set by those in the know. So, for me, that being somebody that lives fairly close to me is uh, very high up in that federal agency that takes care of uh, emergencies, if you know what I mean. Very high up. And you look at what they do. I look at what they do. I've seen what they do. Obviously, for OPSEC purposes, I'm not really going to tell you exactly, but I'll tell you what. Looking at their property, gates, fences, motion detectors, cameras, huge, multiple huge greenhouses, massive garden plots, tons of animals, meat animals, egg animals, all those kind of things. I believe off-grid or uh, off-grid capability also, wells, because there is no uh, city water where I live, so I know they have at least a well. Yeah, they do the things, and always in the direction of their house on weekends, what do I hear? Usually an AK or an AR popping off, and uh, yeah, they're both former army, and uh, yeah, they do the things. So watch people, pay attention to people in the know. They're in the know. <laughs> they know that if something happens, the government's not coming to help. You know, they know how much red tape there is. They know how much BS there is. They know how inefficient their organization is, their agency. They've even made comments about to me about different faith-based organizations being way more efficient and better than they are at providing support for disasters. <clears throat> They've talked about how wonderful it is that some of these faith-based organizations just, I mean, they beat them there, they're on site faster, they're on site with a better product, more efficient, and providing just all around a way better service than they ever could. And we all know the, you know, the agency I'm talking about and their uh, uh, limitations and their inefficiencies and such. But, yeah, pay attention to those in the know. I mean, like I said, they know and they are big time preppers. They may not realize it. They may not call themselves preppers. I don't know if they're in the... Uh, you know, quote unquote, prepper community. I don't even know really what their political affiliations are because it's a pretty touchy subject. I don't really ever broach that except for just general stuff with them because who they work for, I don't really know. I need to do a better job of feeling out where they stand uh, politically and where they stand as far as people. It's just, as you can probably understand, it's pretty touchy me not wanting to give up any information to people like that uh, in those positions for that agency. So, uh, but, you know, I should delve in deeper and maybe give you guys some more information about that and uh, where they stand, where people within that agency stand, as far as they know. So, maybe I'll do that. I'll, you know, I'll talk with them, stuff like that. Great people to barter with. They like, you know stuff like that. It's just really good people, but, uh, you know, I pay attention to what they do, and I see it, and, you know, and I don't know everything. I have no idea how much, uh, you know, food storage they have. I have no idea any of the details. It's just, uh, you know, my son used to go over and help feed their animals when they're off, you know, at disasters and stuff like that, so... Yeah, pay attention. If you have any other examples of people you know 
that uh, you can pay attention to what they're doing. Uh, you know, uh, look at look at all the extremely wealthy. How many extremely wealthy people in this nation are building, you know, complexes, uh, homesteads, those kind of things? I wouldn't really call them necessarily a homestead, but you know, bunkers and all these secure, high security facilities um, and preparedness. You know, they're buying up mass amounts of you know food storage and stuff like that. Those are the people to pay attention to. Those are the people that have you know their ears open, and those are the ones on the inside. They know what the agenda is. They know where this is going. They know what what the potential is. So yeah, pay attention to people like that. I know if you're here, you're already a prepper. So you're already doing the things anyway. But maybe just a little bit more of a motivation. Pay attention to people in the know and what they're doing. Uh, even people on you know the opposite flip side of the coin of me politically, they're still doing it. Bill Gates, pff, he's got yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows what, what, he's, what he's got, but I guarantee I've heard a lot of things. And, uh, I heard you know he's got a lot of things. So pay attention to those in the know. Pay attention to those that, you know in, in places of power and see what they're doing. Maybe not follow their example. You know what they're doing in their personal lives or politically stuff like that. But pay attention to things like that. Do your preps a little bit every day. Uh, a couple of cans of corn, a couple of cans of beans, you know, a bag of beans, a bag of rice, corn, wheat, barley, quinoa, anything like that. Couscous, um, elbow macaroni, all those kind of things. Really good. Canned fruits also. Um, and check out my uh, uh, unique, I think it's called unique food storage technique about powdering fruits and vegetables, that can be, I mean, you can do that with almost anything, even like a, some beans. You could, you know, make up a pot of beans and do the same thing, throw them in the blender, lay them on a cookie sheet, bake them, turn them into powder, potatoes, same thing. Think about easy that was, you make your own powdered potatoes for super cheap, way cheaper than you would buy them at the store. So do that. And then they don't have all the, the preservatives and stuff in them, all the bad stuff. Uh, I just think it's a really cool idea. I really want to do a video on how to do that, the process. We're gonna we're gonna be learning how to do it, perfecting the uh, perfecting the art. But think about potatoes. I mean, add some potato powder to some bread, make potato bread. Um, you know, put some water in it, make some potato pancakes. Uh, there's so many things. Use it to, to thicken some soup or thicken whatever you need to thicken. Um, add some bean powder to some stuff. You know, to some breads or whatever. I mean, you guys can think of them options. Fruits, vegetables, beans, legumes, all of those kind of things you could do this with. And then you could use it for soup bases or you can, you know, you can use it for so many different things to get a little extra calories, to get those nutrients and those minerals and all that stuff. So yeah, think about that. I sorry that's side, kind of a side note, but you know I like I get sidetracked sometimes. It's just the way I am. It's the way my mind works. It's it's I'm thinking of fifty different things at one time. And uh, I just get sidetracked sometimes. But I hope, hopefully it's useful information. Hopefully it's uh, encouraging to you guys. Uh, I love you guys. Make prepping fun. Remember, prepping fun. It has to be fun. Or you'll get all burnt out and stuff like that. Try to avoid burnout. Watch the, that video I made. Um, avoid the doomer porn. Stay with sites that are positive and uplifting. Um, yeah, so channel's doing really well. We were stuck at 200 subscribers. Got a shout out from Midwest Prepper, um, a couple other people I think maybe, and some other people jumped on board and really liked it. So we're up over 240 subscribers. So we went up like 40, I think it's 47 or 40 something subscribers in three days. That's pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy. I know some channels get 200 and something subscribers a day. Hey, awesome. That's good for them. I'm small time. <laughs> I'm just starting out. I hope you guys like the channel, like the content. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Share the videos, it's good for the algorithm, because I'm not good for the algorithm. And comment, please, that's also good. Make lots of comments, have discussion with others, discussion with me. Email me if you have any questions um, outside the context of a public forum. Some people have been doing that, Roger Wilco's been doing that. Good, good on him. That's really good, helps, helps us you know, keep the lines of communication open. I like interacting with you guys, I pray for you guys regularly. I love you guys, and blessings to you and yours.